to all my entrepreneurs out there and those that are in the process of starting their entrepreneurship journey. I got a question for you. I got something to tell you actually, not a question. So do not, do not let people and do not let others deter you from your goals. Because I'm gonna tell you, sometimes to walk this entrepreneur, you're gonna do the complete opposite than what a W-2 employee would do. It's good, and I'm not, I'm not speaking negatively to W-2 employees, but I'm talking about people who want to make that transition. I'm gonna tell you something that I've learned currently as a self-employer. You are gonna be challenged. There will be days of struggle. I'm gonna tell you that. Um, People will question you. Was it really a good investment to get into this? Was it really the good time? You're going to have people, I'm going to tell you, you're going to have good critics, you're going to have bad critics coming after you. You're going to have people that's going to try to fear monger you out of situations that could have been the best decision making of your life. You're going to have people who will talk you out of it and they never stuck foot into entrepreneurship roles. But you want to be different. You're doing something that you've always wanted to do. You may have a deep desire that you wanted to make a product of or make a service of. Do not let people deter you from your goals. You're going to have negativity. You're going to have your critics. You're going to make mistakes. There's always going to be a trial and error. The goal is do not stop because you've made a mistake from a trial and error. Learn from that error and learn to do it better. When you learn the area, when you learn the error, now you're now you're truly okay. I'm not going to make this mistake. Okay, I made this bad investment. Not going to invest in that area for a while until I'm ready to make this choice. You have to really put some thought into this. You can't. And another thing, don't expect overnight success. A lot of us going to have to stop thinking this way. Just because you're seeing a lot of people thriving on social media. And they make it sound like that it happened overnight. It did not happen overnight. There's a part of them that are not telling you the struggle they have to go through on that daily to get to where they are. And I'm going to tell you, my business, yeah, I'm going through a struggle right now. And I'm going to tell you, I don't, I don't have a lot of, I don't have, get a lot of calls. I got a consistent income coming, but I know where I could do better. And I know what areas to invest in. But that doesn't mean I'm going to stop. And you're going to have people that's going to try to talk you out of it. Well, are you sure? Well, this this business don't seem, and it could be your friends and family that will try this stunt. I'm going to tell you, business lesson 101, your family and sometimes your friends are going to be your worst enemies. You haven't, If you haven't experienced it, you will. You will know who the real people are, who the real culprits are. Strangers are going to be your best investment. Sometimes people who buy your stuff who complain are going to be your best customers. So, so make sure you understood that. But that's really what I have to say here, guys. I hope you guys are having a good day. I haven't made TikTok videos in a while. I'm just pretty much been busy. So I'm hoping that everyone has a great day. Continue with your entre entrepreneurship journey. And I hope you guys have a great. And I hope to hear from you guys about what, what industry you're, you're in. Because I feel like everyone needs to know. Like, what's your story? Let others know. Let's build a community about that. I'll see you guys in the next one.